Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox, Isle of Avalon, and uh, you know what it means when we're here in Isle of Avalon. It means that there has been an update. So, uh, I want to apologize for not jumping on this sooner. I've actually been out of town. I am home now, back to recording. Uh, I was also sick, and uh, for those of you guys who've been wondering how I'm doing, I'm doing significantly better. My voice is back to normal. Uh, hopefully we won't have any more nasty, uh, na nasty gross voice in these videos. But, let's get back to our focus here. We're in Isle of Avalon and we're going to be checking out the new update. So there's some pretty cool stuff in this update. I've really been looking forward to it. I've been watching Thin Matrix's dev vlogs and uh, it looks incredible. There's actually eagles now. They've changed some hunting behaviors. There's jellyfish. There's all kinds of new stuff. So first things first, let's take a look at what we have. So have we already unlocked the jellyfish? We have and uh, we have the uh, eagle that comes from the sparrow now as well. So let's take a look at the jellyfish. Uh, I don't know what, well, let's see, let's see what it is. I think it, I think it's actually a quest reward. So if, ooh, we, we have a new bush type as well, so we're gonna look at that. But I think it's a reward from, not this one, not this one, um, maybe Tropical Waters, I think? I believe it's a quest reward. Uh, on your pike, maybe? Let me see. Well, well, it might also come... No, I don't think it comes from any of the... Um, oh, Fish Mastery. Oh, yeah, Fish Mastery is the task. Okay. Uh, I didn't think it came from anything else. So that's how you get the jellyfish. We've already completed that task, so we can pretty much just place them right in. And uh, let's take a look at them. So category is Weird Fish. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's, I think, a new category, but uh, it's kind of a funny one as well. Uh, they like tropical biomes and coral, and they sting any animals that touch them. So let's go ahead and we'll place some of them in. Now, Thin Matrix has said that uh, you can either make them harmless or really, really powerful. So let's place in... Where did it go? Oh, it's up here. Okay, I see it now. Um, is it happy? It's pretty happy. And uh, we can look at its color. So I'm going to do two different types of jellyfish, I think, for one. Okay, so they can be either kind of green or uh, purple, but I'm gonna go with neon blue. We have a lot of, of DP and we're earning it very quickly, so we can do that. And these blue ones, uh, so you can see, is it gonna sting any of those? Let's, let's do the sting power. I'm gonna make these guys, like, super powerful. So we'll, we'll plus it by 50 here. And I wanna see it sting something. <laughs> and it sounds terrible, but I I want to see what it can do. Oh, did it get it? I think it I think it got this guy a little bit. Oh, not not the coral, the, this fish here, this sw one that's swimming away. No, nope, I got the wrong one. Okay, let's find the jellyfish again. It's right here. Uh, if we see it sting one something, they actually swim away when they get stung. So they'll they'll go away really fast. So I think this guy maybe got stung. I think he took some damage. No, he didn't actually. I, I don't know exactly how this works, but uh, they showed him stinging in the video. Did it not get that guy? It might be kind of sensitive, <laughs> but um, I'm sure it'll get somebody at some point here and uh, we'll get to see it in action, especially as we have more of them, then we'll, I'm sure we'll get to see them in action. But we'll add that one there. So those are going to be blue jellyfish. They're going to be extremely powerful. They These guys like tropical water, so they, I'm going to place another one over here. We'll put this one in this area. And uh, instead of it being this greenish color, I'm going to go with... Uh, let's do purple. Uh, we'll do a nice purple color. And instead of boosting the sting power, we're going to drop it significantly. So we're going to make them virtually harmless. And I don't think they need food or anything. I think they're just assumed to eat things in the water. It doesn't look like if we click on them. Uh, yeah, they don't have any food. So they're just assumed to be eating things that are in the environment that aren't actually actively visible to us. So that's the jellyfish. I'm going to let those populations uh, expand a little bit. And then we'll come back and take a look at them more in detail. Did that guy get stung? Did he get stung? He did not. <laughs> I, I, I want to see this happen, you guys. Maybe maybe we have to, maybe it has to be an adult. Nope, they're getting pretty close to it, but maybe they're a lot farther down than I thought they were. Um, I don't want to spend all of our time watching the jellyfish, but uh, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. I, I, I gotta not just sit there and do that. Uh, but when we have more, then we'll take a look at them in more depth. So let's also see what the eagle. So the eagle, we need to find sparrows. Do we have some over here? 
Uh, it looks like, I think, no, those are two kids. These guys are sparrows, if I can actually click on them. They're kind of hard to select. There we go. So what do we need for eagles? We need spruce trees. So the spruce trees are, oh, there's our wolves. Oh, there's also a fix for some of the meat that's stuck in the ground. So like, or that's stuck where and unclickable. So we can't click on this here. Um, there's going to be a fix to remove the ones that are unclickable, but there's something to make sure that all future ones will be clickable. Uh, that's something Thin Matrix added as well. And uh, so that should help out. But spruce trees, I want to say... I want to say we have those over here, actually. Um, those are juniper trees, fir trees. I want to say they're the ones on this peak. Uh, they are. Okay, so we need sparrows in this area. Uh, or in an area that can support them. So let's take a look at the sparrows and what they need. Oh yeah, and apparently the requirements to unlock the wolf have been changed as well, but I'm not sure specifically what that is. Uh, let's look at the uh, sparrows though here. And uh, oh, we got a clownfish with mutation. I want to see that guy. Is that this one? This guy? Clownfish? Yes, that's a cool color. I'm gonna hit selective breed. Oh no, don't get stung by the jellyfish. We just added that. We don't want it to kill our newly mutated clownfish, so hopefully it won't. But sparrows, I'm missing them somewhere. <laughs> they're around here. Uh, there they are. They're right here. Okay. So, they can't be in the snow biome, though, so we need to figure out with spruce trees, which are right here. They spread the snow biome. This could be kind of tricky. I'm going to place some more in. So the, they like to be really high up. Actually, let's look at what spreads the forest biome. We can maybe put in some of these juniper trees. They like to be higher up as well. So I'm going to place some of them around here. And that should start to uh, change the area. I'm also going to look at some of this heather. Nope, heather doesn't like to be high up. Rosemary, however, does. And so we'll place some of that around here. And this should give us a much more suitable place for our, um, for our sparrows to live. So we'll kind of spread some more of the snow biome as well along here. Let's see what spreads it. We can place some spruce ones along here, but the altitude factor is getting worse. So let's place mostly fir trees. I believe fir trees like the rocks too. So if we look at them here, uh oh, this guy's really sad. Uh, large rocks. So let's go back here. Let's find some of these snow rocks and we'll place them all along here because I want this whole ridge to be snowy. And now we should be able to spread this snow area. We'll place some fir trees along here. Even they have a not ideal altitude factor along here, but for the most part, it's still reasonably good. And now what we're going to do is we will place a sparrow right here. Now, it's not going to be the happiest sparrow. Oh, it's actually not too badly off, but it will be able to have a start unlocking the eagle species, and that's what we're going for. So we'll get started on that, and then the one last thing that I want to see here. So we're going to get all the animals. The eagle's the only one that we don't have unlocked at this time. But the plants, the one we don't have, that actually unlocks another, or that is actually part of another, uh, another quest, <laughs> if I could talk, is something that comes from the ficus tree. So let's come over here. We will find some ficus trees. What do we need to get star bloom? So we need toucans. There should be some toucans around here. In fact, I see quite a few of them flying. We just need to find, so those are canopy trees, vine trees, mango trees, ficus trees. There's just not enough toucans around. That's a vine tree, mango tree. Um, what are we exactly? So the ficus trees are these little ones. We could probably just place one in a better area. Let's come up here. There are toucans around, so hopefully this, if I can actually click it, hopefully this one will be better. No. Oh, it, oh, it has. Oh, the toucans is the one that it has. So we need pink jungle flowers and white jungle flowers. So let's find those. Where are the jungle flowers? We look at lives in biome jungle and we find the flowers here. Let's place some of those in. Oh, they don't like the altitude factor. They like to be lower down. So does this one have the proper? It does have enough toucans. Okay, so we can just place them in here. And we'll place pink ones. We'll go ahead. We will selectively breed for pink. We'll buy that. And then we will place a little farther away. I'm going to selectively breed 
for white. Um, it looks like it's auto-saving, so we'll wait for that to finish, and then we should be good to go. There we are, selectively breed for... Wait a minute. We need white, right? I'm not losing my mind, that's what it asked for, right? Jungle- oh, jungle plant white. Okay, we don't need to selectively breed for that then. In fact, I'm gonna remove that one so that, uh, it doesn't- or is this- does that ca oh no, it needs pink. Okay, well, well, we'll leave that alone, I guess. We have enough jungle flowers in the area that it'll be fine, but we need the jungle plant. I misread that. So the jungle plant is right here. This is what we need to change to a white color, and we got the eagle! Okay, let's go check that out. Let's just set this to white really fast, and now we'll go take a look. So we actually have an eagle here, and these guys supposedly live on the mountaintops and will actually swoop off of them to catch prey. Now, I don't know, we should have some smaller animals here, right? We have, well, we have deer. Um, do we have... That wolf just, or that fox just died. We've got... We probably need to place some hares in or something like that for our eagles to be able to survive. So maybe we'll find out... Okay, let's... Let's get our forest growing a little bit more. So I'm going to spread this whole area here. We can place some heather in. That'll help. We'll place some more juniper trees. Oh no, they don't like the um, they don't like the altitude factor there. So let's place some tall trees maybe. Yeah, we'll place some of them in here. And we'll go ahead and we can place some not rosemary. We'll place some sage. What exactly does it like? I think it's small rocks, so let's- or stones, excuse me. Let's place some stones in. I kind of just do it haphazardly because that adds a little bit more of a natural feel to it, in my opinion. But uh, what we're looking for is barley, so we're gonna place some of that in. That is a good food source, and it also will keep the sage happy, and the sage will keep the barley happy, because uh, they work together like that. So let's take a look at rabbits. What do they need to eat? They will eat carrots and- f or they like carrots and flowers, excuse me. They will eat root vegetables, fruit bushes, and fallen fruit. Now, do carrots- uh, if we- if we find them, let's look at root vegetables here. I see them. If we look at- oh, I hear the eagle, too! If we look at them, they don't spread anything, so we can use this as an opportunity for more golden carrots. Is this the eagle? I think so. It seems to be- oh, no, that's a sparrow. <laughs> I was all excited. And then the eagle just, I don't even know where it went. It might be ranging pretty far from home, actually, in order to, um, in order to be able to, to hunt, but I'm not sure. Is this, that's a sparrow. Now, I don't know where the eagle went, but I did hear it, so it's around here somewhere, but maybe it's ranging all the way down here or somewhere to find food? We'll have to watch. I'm gonna add some more on the other mountains, but I want to get a population of, uh, of the rabbits here started so that we have them. And what we need to do for that is we need to get some carrots in. And this will help us be able to continue earning DP at a really good rate, too. In fact, we're, we're earning it far faster than we're spending it. So we're, we're definitely making it up. Okay, here's a good carrot. This isn't the only one in the area, is it? If we- I'm just gonna turn on the size... So no, it's definitely not. We can go ahead, we can transplant this all the way over here. And we'll get that started here. So where is the eagle? I don't even see it at this point, but what I think I'm gonna do, cause we have, we have, so we have deer here, we have wolves here that are ranging all the way down here to hunt apparently, but we have some, um, some of the, the rabbits down here as well as a bunch of foxes. And foxes should be able to eat other small animals. So like these guinea pigs, they should probably be able to eat now too. If we look at, uh, in fact, if we look at the animals category and we look at uh, small herbivores, I think any of these are things that the foxes can eat. But I wanna see the eagle again. So they're birds of prey. They like the spruce tree and they like snow. So they're really, they're really only going to like this area specifically. I'm going to remove this, I'm going to remove the sparrows in this area because I don't want to get distracted. Oh, there's the eagle. Okay. Oh, the eagle's getting pretty hungry. <gasps> and 
and just killed a desert hare. Oh my goodness. Eagle, come back and get your food. Are you going to do that? Oh man, it's a little bit, little bit weak at the moment because it hasn't been eating, but... Or it hasn't had enough to eat. Now it's doing a lot better. So it's actually pretty good at the moment. We Maybe when we place new eagles, we'll want to put in some meat for them so that they have something to eat right off the bat. But uh, this guy should start to nest. Oh, right there, nesting on the ground. Yes. So what is the eagle's name? Does it have one? No, it doesn't have a name at this point. Uh, but it, it's actually coming all the way out here and attacking these desert hares. So that is really, really awesome, you guys. Uh, I didn't know that uh, they were going to attack the hares all the way over there, but that works beautifully because then they'll be able to get their food from over there. We can maybe place some down here as well once we have those carrots in. But I wanted to see, too, can we add hares? What do they like? If we, look, if we look at this, hare's name is Picasso, too. That's awesome. They like rocks and stones, and they eat small plants and small cactus. So there's rocks and stones in this area, too, which means that we should be able to place desert hares in this area. And I think now that the foxes will... Is this... This is a fox, right? Oh, no, they're, they're getting hungry. That's not so good. Okay, we have our golden sheep as well. Is there any food here? Okay, I'm going to transplant this over here for our foxes. Go go eat the food, please. They're going to go eat, I think. That's good. Um, but I, did, I don't necessarily want to steal from the wolves. They're just better off at the moment. There's also some broken meat right there. But there, I mean, there's sheep right here. How many wolves are in the area, actually? Was that a bad idea? If I hit this... Oh, there's, there's several. Okay, so they're not the only ones. Uh, and they can hunt these uh, boars or the warthogs in the swamp or the sheep on the hillside, so they'll be fine. But these uh, these foxes here should be able to actually go and hunt this desert hare population now as it starts to grow. And hopefully that will help them be able to get some food as well. We'll also put some hares over here so that they can hunt from that area and the eagle can hunt from that area too. Uh, but yeah, this is actually amazing. You can see the eagle building its nest. That is really, really cool, you guys. That is not, uh, not exactly what I expected, but it looks awesome. Like, this eagle has, com has me completely blown away at this point. I was not expecting that. I knew about the jellyfish, and in fact, speaking of them, we'll be going back to them in a minute here. Um, but I was not expecting that from the eagle at all. Completely, uh-oh. These guys don't like the forest, do they? Um, that's not good then. Alright, well... That kind of killed my my plan there. What, what animals live in the forest? I should have checked that. So, guinea pigs do. Uh, if we put boars here... Well, we can put those carrots in anyway. But if we put boars here and we put potato plants, then we will be able to have the boars dig up the potatoes and then the guinea pigs can eat them. So let's place in a wild boar. It's missing its liked species, which is cedar trees, right? It likes stones at least. Uh, what do we want to do? I want to give it a kind of unique-ish color. His name is Tuesday. So let's see. What colors haven't we really used before? Um, we could get pink boars. I'm going to go with mud green, though. That's kind of a, a unique color, but at the same time, I mean, it's not a totally out there color. It feels like something that a boar could... Uh, like, like, it could be rolling around in the mud or something and getting, getting kind of dirty fur. So, but with that in mind, this boar should now be able to dig up these potatoes. And so we can actually put in some guinea pigs. And, not, no, no, not that. And, let's see, if we do the guinea pigs a certain color too, we'll, we'll selectively breed for something a little different. Um... Let, let's go for gold. There, there's no reason not to go for gold. <laughs> and this should help support our foxes as well. Now, I want to see if we have... Okay, where is the cedar tree? We can actually search for that. Cedar is right here. So if we try to place that down, the only thing that's bothering it is the biome. And so this will be a good area to place them in, I think. Because that they'll... I think they should increase the biome, right? They do spread forest biome, Yes. So that's a very good thing, and that'll help out. But what I want to take a look at now is our jellyfish and see what the impact they're having here is. We should have several of them. Maybe they're actually stinging things, and I'm just not seeing it. 
but uh, we should be seeing them developing more and more powerful stings. So how is this one doing? I want to go, oh, it's 153% sting power. I want to bump that up by even more. Well, we spent quite a bit on that. I also want to drop the other one by quite a lot. But I'm not seeing them actually sting anything at the moment. And I'm thinking maybe it's just too far away. Like, it looks like they're swimming really close, but they're too high or too low. So, I, I want to see them sting something. We may not. But at this rate, I think it should probably instant kill anything that gets near it. That or there is a small chance that it's a little bit broken at the moment. But uh, I don't really know... It, it could just not be functioning properly. It could also be an issue with that the fact that this is an older world. I'm a little worried that's what's going to happen to Isle of Avalon. Uh, that we are going to start to have problems because we started this in an older version and it might lose its compatibility. But in any case, these guys, if they do sting something, we should actually see it die pretty much right away, I think. But I'm not seeing it sting anything. I'm not seeing anything around here that's actually taken damage either. It maybe is just really rare, but it seems like everything is just near missing it, so that's a little bit unfortunate here. I was hoping we'd see some more action with these guys, and uh, it might work out a little bit better, but it doesn't look like it. Let's check on our other population over here, so if I can find them... Uh, I'm going to turn on a trait for the jellyfish. That's a good way of finding things if you ever lose them. You can turn on that trait, a trait of some sort, and then it'll show you where they are. And so, oh, 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 I saw this guy get stung. I saw this guy get stung. That's not our high-powered ones. But uh, if we look at this guy and we go here, we can see he took 20% damage. Yeah, they are stinging. Okay, so it does work. It actually does work. I didn't know that was a thing. Or I, I didn't know it was working or not, but oh yeah, we can see it a lot more in the shallows. That actually makes a lot of sense, but I'm actually going to continue to drop the sting power for these guys. Why are they, why are they sad? They're not, they're not totally happy here. What's going on with that? Um, it's just a lower suitable biome, I guess. So I'm going to selectively breed these guys for an even lower sting power. This is going to take a lot. Whoa, that's going to, that... That's a lot of DP. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. We will uh, decrease it by 15% there. And we may continue to do that. But you can see it, they definitely did sting some things. So it is working. I was a little worried we were gonna start to lose compatibility here on Isle of Avalon. But I bet these guys are gonna be stinging fish as well. We just haven't happened to see it happen yet. That or maybe we've inverted it somehow. Like, maybe it's not, maybe greater sting power isn't actually, um, maybe it's not, maybe, 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 the, maybe it's inverted somehow, so higher is going to equal less sting power and lower is going to equal more. I don't know. That may not be the case, <laughs> but, uh, maybe that's what's going on here, but my, my most likely theory, I think, is that if we tilt kind of this way, we can see that there's a lot more depth to the water here, and so maybe the fish just aren't close enough for it to actually register the sting, even though when we look at them from a fairly overhead perspective, it looks like they should be getting stung. That's what I'm going to go with, but we do know from over here that these guys are having an effective sting against these fish. They're actually doing about 20% damage to them, and uh, so we're going to continue to try and drop that. We'll continue to try and raise this in future episodes, did this guy just get stung? No. <laughs> Sometimes they just run away, it seems like. But uh, in any case, we're going to continue to try and raise that in future episodes. Now, I just want to check back in on our eagle. Hello, there's actually multiple. I should be saying eagles right now because there's many. And uh, wow, look at this. Look at there's meat here. There's three eggs in that nest. These guys are going crazy right now. There's a bunch of them originating here. Now, I don't know how many places we'll be able to actually put the eagles because they like those spruce trees, but that is pretty phenomenal, honestly. Uh, again, a very unexpected addition. That's not something I expected we would be seeing, but uh, I'm super happy to see these guys in the game now. They are really, really cool. We didn't actually get to see them hunting over here, and I don't know if we will, although maybe this guy will oblige. Maybe, maybe this one here will oblige. But, uh, in any case, 
I think, oh, possibly, <laughs> I kind of want to just watch and see. And I was going to try and add some more of the holly to this area so that hopefully we can continue to feed our goats because I'm a little worried they're not going to be getting enough food. Except I can't see it, so let's search for it. And then there's one more thing I want to do before we wrap up the episode. So I haven't seen the eagles actually hunting. That's going to be kind of difficult to do maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> it might be kind of difficult to actually catch them in the act. Uh, but if we get lucky, maybe we will. We did see one carrying back a hare before killing it. It kind of dropped it out of the sky. But in any case, these guys are doing really, really well. They have been hunting. It looks like they are out of food now, so they might try and hunt again soon. But I don't know if we're going to be able to actually catch that or not. They might just do their thing while we are we are not present. <laughs> but in any case, I did want to go check out the uh, progress over here with this ficus tree. Do we have the ability to get star bloom? We do. Okay, let's start with the star bloom here. I just want to see what those look like because supposedly they are supposed to look really cool when they bloom and they don't do that very very often and that's what it looks like the task is for so if we come over here we need to have a blooming star uh, star bloom bush and it says it produces flowers only once a year so unlock it add it to a jungle area and then enjoy the show that it puts on at the start of each new year so you can see i'm going to close out of this It'll, it has a certain number of days per year. I actually don't know how many it is, but okay, we got another reward for logarithm, but we'll try and make sure that we get to catch it when it happens. It might only be 10 days per year, or you know what? It's probably 12. It's most likely 12 because 12 months, and so if each day is roughly equivalent to one month, that, that would make about sense. So we'll try and get that to happen. I want to catch that on camera at least once. Maybe we will watch the eagles in the meantime. So if it goes to day, is it, it's probably going to go to day 11, I think. Oh, here we go. We have our star bloom bush. So I'm going to place that here. It's pretty happy. We'll let that grow. And then when it changes to year 10, we should be able to come and take a look at it and see how it's doing. Uh, so, oh, day, oh, day one, year 10. So it actually is only 10 days. And it's not gonna bloom. It's not, it's actually not gonna bloom. Oh my goodness, we did this like just a tiny bit too late, didn't we? Oh my goodness. I wanna see if it's gonna do it now before the day is up. Oh, it's pretty early, so maybe it will. But it might, we might have to wait until the next year, in which case I think I'll probably just sit here and fast forward and maybe we'll watch the eagles for a little bit and see if we can get any of them to go hunting. And uh, catch that on camera, perhaps. Oh, is it going to make it, you guys? Is it going to make it? I'm not sure if it is or not. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to make it to adulthood. It's at 72% growth. We're kind of just watching the plants grow here. But we might actually make it. And if it does, I hope it will bloom. Because I really want to see what this thing looks like. I also want to get the achievement. But more than anything, I just want to see it. And uh, see if it, it, see, it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. So is it going to bloom? Please tell me it's going to bloom. It's not going to bloom, is it? No! No, it's not going to bloom because we didn't get to, oh no. Okay, well I'm going to try and see if I can quickly fast forward through a full year here. And we'll go keep an eye on the eagles and hopefully we'll get to see them hunting. But I'm going to fast forward and... Um, We'll just see here. Oh, there's actually a wolf wandering down there. But yeah, in another year then, we will get to see what the star, star fruit, but star fruit, star flower, what is it actually called? Um, not holly. Uh, where is it? It's the one we just got. Star, star bloom. That's what it's called. Uh, so we'll get to see what the star bloom bush looks like in a little bit. Oh, look, they're hunting. They're hunting. Did it get anything? I don't think it did. It was trying to. Oh, it did! It did! Oh, it did! It got, it got, it got one of the hairs! It got one of the hairs! Oh my goodness, that's so cool, you guys! So they actually swoop down and snatch them off the ground and then bring them up and drop them. And then you can see it'll leave this small meat up here. It has six portions, it looks like, unless somebody's already eaten from it. And it lasts for a while and it continues to feed the eagle. So that is pretty darn awesome. We're still only on day two. I'm going to keep fast forwarding because I really want to show you guys the star bloom before the episode is up. 
I just realized we have a little bit of a problem. Our spruce trees have actually died off, so I'm going to go ahead and address that. We're still only on day two. I'm going to be placing a lot more of these in, and hopefully they will, will last. In fact, are we able to place them up here? They have, what is their dislike? Oh, their dislike species is uh, this pine tree, I think. So we can't actually place them over here. That's why we only have them over here. Uh, hopefully they'll stick around this time. I'm a little worried because I think they're starting to have problems due to the biome, perhaps. So we look at the spruce tree. Why is it sad? Oh, because the altitude factor is low. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll continue to be okay and reproduce faster than it's going to die off. All right, everybody, here we go. So it is about an hour before the new year in game, that is. And you can see this star balloon plant or the star balloon bush is pretty healthy, but it actually has some flowers on it or is some, I guess they're buds. So it's getting ready to flower. It's going to do that any moment now. We should actually have it this time. We earned a ridiculous amount of DP while I just sat here and fast forwarded for a year. Also, uh, while I was fast forwarding, I noticed, oh my goodness, you guys, look at, oh my gosh, look, you guys, that, that's amazing. Wow, I love the sparkles. Oh my goodness, what a way to ring in the new year in game. That is fantastic. Um... Well worth waiting for, that's for sure, and thankfully you guys won't have to wait as long as I did because I'll fast forward through it for you guys. But while I was fast forwarding, I noticed that the game started getting laggier and laggier and freezing, and I was a little worried by that because I worried we finally reached the limit of what we could do with this. But I don't think that was the case because I switched to another world, loaded that, and then loaded this one back up again, and uh, it was okay. So I don't think it's a problem necessarily with the save file. Oh yeah, and we can go ahead and collect the 100,000 DP we got for that. <laughs> Not like we really need it, but uh, yeah. But so if you start to experience that, I would just toggle off the save. It's likely going to be if you've been playing for a while, and so I just toggle off the save and come back to it, and then you should be okay so that's uh, that's something that seems to be going on with the uh, with the game currently. I don't know, Thin Matrix, if you're watching this, uh, you might want to look into that because it might be some sort of memory leak or something. It seemed to happen when I played the game for a long period of time with no breaks. So uh, it might be what something that's going on with the memory or something along those lines. But it doesn't seem to be a serious error. It doesn't seem to be anything related to the save file itself. It just uh, was starting to happen after I've been playing for a single session in a row. So if you start to get weird lag issues, then just go ahead and reload the save file, save it and reload it, and you'll probably be okay. So I, I don't think it was a problem with that. But anyway, that's pretty much all the new features of the update, or I think so at least. Um, Actually, I don't remember if the new game modes have actually been added or not. That might be something we have to check out on another day, though, because uh, that's most of the new animals and the new plant, at least. So, uh, Equinox is an active development. Thin Matrix is doing a fantastic job with that. Uh, adding new features, new animals, new behaviors, such as the foxes now being able to hunt all small animals here. Uh, honestly, just doing an incredible job keeping this game updated and adding new content to, to it. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's next in store. Uh, we're going to be continuing to play the Isle of Avalon series here, but it will be kind of just a special whenever the game updates thing, because right now we've explored pretty much the whole, whole game in this one world here. So we're not going to be playing it super regularly, but whenever there is a new update, we will check it out. And at some point, we might start to do new worlds, new challenges like we were doing with World of Wolves. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. It was kind of a long one, a little bit more than I anticipated. And uh, so we, we better go ahead and wrap this up here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.